Hi everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing Real Housewives of Atlanta Season 8, Episode 12. I'm not going to go blow by blow what went on because it was a lot of like stuff that didn't really need to be mentioned. So we're going to start off with Todd and Candy. You know, they little bundle of joys is a few months away from being born. As of now, the baby's been born and had a little boy. But well, anyways, we're going to get on to what's happening now. They trying to get things together and... They have yet to get nursery together. Todd, he doesn't want it to look like what he says, a ghetto, like, daycare with all the, you know, painted animals and all that stuff. But, you know, King, like, I had that for Bradley. That's cute. But Todd, he, he not really for that, you know. He a little nervous because this is the first time that he's going to have actually be there, like, when the baby is first born. And with his daughter, Kayla, I think that's what her name is. I don't know if it's like he didn't know about her or he just wasn't in her life. But I just can't see Ty just like, I got to tell and I'm not there for her. But anyway, it's just like, this is kind of new for him. So he feels that they should have a schedule. I agree, but, you know, Candy don't really think that Ty is going to stick to the schedule. She's like, okay, you're going to be in charge of the baby while I'm getting Riley off of school. But he's like, hold up, I don't think I can do that. I'm not really used to being around a baby. Not even sure if he's ever held a baby. So later on in the episode, they had this like baby prep woman come in. Cause you know it's been 13 years since Candy had a baby. Tired ain't he's never really been around a newborn baby. So you know they need a little fresh up on what things going on. But you know Ty, he seems to. He been Googling and I'm assuming watching YouTube videos of, you know, how to swaddle a baby, how to change a baby's diaper, you know, how to feed the baby and all that stuff. So he was like, okay, I got this right there. Doing this, you got to swallow the baby, make sure the baby's hands like this. Yeah, he's get things together. I'm like, okay, what do we need to do this. He's all for having a nanny because he's not trying to get up like every few hours to feed the baby or taking turns. But they gotta realize when you have a newborn baby you sleep when the baby sleep, you know. And my grandma, she is always the one to say, when you have a newborn baby, do not sit there and hold that baby all the time because that's what the baby's going to want, to be held all the time. You know, hold the baby when you feed them, rock them, do all that stuff, and let that baby be. When that baby's sleeping, that's when you should be getting some sleep too. That way you ain't so tired. Like maybe get you some laundry in, throw up the OD in while the baby's sleeping. You carry your tether suit too. So you're nice and refreshed and you ain't cranky and all that stuff. But since she has tired, hopefully these two can get this together and to where they not at each other's throats. So we have Fedra. And I don't know why since Fedra with her son, it made me this believe that hey she is getting her ducks in a row because y'all know a few episodes ago when apollo's friend bun came over there talking about some yeah apollo said you ain't been answering his calls he ain't seen his kids you know you ain't contacting him so clearly she's like you know what i'm going to prove that apollo was lying by making sure the camera sees me and my son talking to apollo making him birthday cards all this stuff so so if he happened to get out and he get his life together he can't come and sue me be like I won't custody of my kids because she didn't let me see my kids I wasn't in contact with my kids she's like uh uh you gonna stop right there I have substantial evidence right here when the Bravo team was there when Apollo was on the phone when he called I have evidence right here where me and my son were writing letters yes I even went to the prison and got an affidavit from them not an affidavit but I got some witness testimony from them showing that he didn't got some stuff together so this is what I'm thinking about, you know, Fairy, because Fairy, you know, she's a lawyer. and She's going to get all her stuff together so you can't say that, hey, I wasn't letting my kids be around their daddy. So then later on, she goes to see her lawyer because she's, you know, ready for a divorce. And she's like, Apollo noticed was coming. I don't know why he didn't because we didn't discuss this. He's going to be in prison for the next eight years. I need to get on with my life. I need to get things together. His lawyer's like, it ain't really like he can contest anything because, you know, he in jail. Like, as far as custody is obviously you gonna get the kids because what Apollo's in prison right now so she's like it's hard for her and her son like not so much as the baby because the baby he was just like a year old when Apollo left and like he knows his daddy gone but like he didn't really know daddy anyway like he know him but not really know him but Aiden he's like he's like at this age where he knows that you know something ain't right daddy gone daddy was here now daddy not here I can only talk to him on the phone Something ain't right. You're pretty sure there's some children at school time. I said, you know your daddy ain't pretty because he stole people's money. You know kids be listening to their parents and then the kids go back and relay what their parents and said. That kind of stuff. So, you know, it's probably a lot on fair, but you know, hey, you got with a man who was 
doing wrong in the first place. So you can't get mad when he did wrong again. Just saying. So for whatever reason, Kim thought it was a good idea to invite these ladies to a lunch hand where they're going to be beatless. She not all about having her face beat every time she stuck out, stuck, steps out the door. Can't give a word to her. But you know these ladies, you know, if they go into the mailbox, they go into the grocery store, they got to have, you know, their face all the way together. And some of them like, you want me to come out the house without any makeup on? Is this is what we're doing? You know, I can't do that. And it could be that some of the ladies like, hey, I'm still trying to find me a husband. So I need to be looking cute at all times. So I just can't be showing up at your house makeupless. Well, I mean, you could have had makeup on when you got there, washed it off, sit down, did whatever, then put, applied it when you was leaving. But hey, maybe it's just me. I, I wear makeup like if I'm going out and I'm looking cute. Now, if I'm going to the grocery store, I'm going to the grocery store. I'm not trying to look cute for nobody. I'm getting in and I'm getting out. But if I'm dressing up, yeah, I'm going to throw me some makeup on. It's not an everyday occasion, but maybe once, twice a week. Yeah, I'm going to put me some makeup on. Go out, look cute. But these ladies ain't that. Now, when I say I put makeup on, I like get my eyebrows together, put on some lip gloss, you know, do my lashes, some eyeshadow. I'm not all the way extra lashes, contouring, all that. I'm not a full makeup. I just do a little bit to, you know, enhance just a little bit. But, you know, that's like, it's like, like okay, I guess we can do this, you know, come over there. And some of the ladies, they did come without any makeup on like fair that she had like a subtle makeup but makeup nonetheless she asked him do they want to take off their lashes like no i will not she's like okay that's fine Sheree, she shows up she come in she's like i can see lashes all the way over here like really this is what we're doing and then we got kenya and candy on the way over there kenya she's mad like how dare she want me to come without makeup and candy's like well just tell her if you, you gotta go without makeup maybe she can take that cotton ball slash danny line wig off she got on her head because they do look like you just and the wig is gone that's what i'm getting every time i see that big old puff ball it's giving me dandelion cotton ball this is what i'm getting from that so we get there. Everybody's there. They didn't start eating. Now, Kenya, she already got an attitude because she feels, how dare you tell me how I should look? And it was like, it was just, you know, we here just as friends. This is like a relaxed kind of situation. I'm not trying to tell y'all how to do anything. But Kenya, she's not really feeling that. But some of the ladies, like, you know, sometimes, you know, we go out and people want to take pictures with us. And Shrey was like, yeah, there's sometimes that I didn't, I haven't had makeup on and people want to take pictures. And I'm like, okay. But then I was thinking, hold up. Why are you charging people like $5 for your pictures, like using their phone? So that's kind of a contradiction to what you're saying. Like you just readily give them a picture, but you was just like with the last summer, sometime last year, like charging people $5 to take a picture with their own phone. Okay, Ms. Shrey, did you forget this? Okay, whatever. But it's just like, we out somewhere. Maybe sometimes people want to take pictures of us. Now, Portia, I kind of see why Portia had makeup on. Because she had just left work. And after she was leaving the lunch, she had to go back for, to work. So, it's like, okay, I'm not going to take off my makeup to have to be reapplied to get back to work. I don't really have time for that. And then Kenya was like, okay, what is this all about? We be in confrontation right now? She's like, no, it was just a... Something for friends. We just a relaxed at atmosphere. Meanwhile, Candy Candy is over there with these glasses on, and for a split second, I thought it was Riley sitting there. I was like, "Real." I had to look. I had to rewind. I was like, "Oh, is that Riley? What Riley doing there?" But then I realized it was Candy. I'm like, "Girl, you need to take them glasses off because you are looking just like your daughter, or your daughter's looking just like you because you older." Anyways, so she's like, "Okay, girls." Here's some con compacts, you know, look at each other, see you in a beauty. And she's like, King is like, I can see my beauty with the compact. It's like, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's that Kenya has this, like, not really wanting to be friends or always want to be con confrontational with Kim because Kim was like, you know what? I don't really want to help you with that life towards on because I don't really see it go anywhere. Maybe that could be because, you know, she, all, she has an attitude with Kim every time they are sitting with each other. It's like, why are we so mad? It's like, she just wanted to set up something together. Then at one point, they was talking, and Kim was like, oh, we doing this? She was like, first of all, I was trying to swallow my food while you was talking. This ain't got nothing to do with you. Like, she was being extra rude and saying that woman's house. I was like, what is it? Why is Kenya so mad that she just, if you didn't want to come without makeup on, you didn't have to show up unless that was part of your contract. 
Or if you did show up, you'd be like, you know what, I'm not comfortable without wearing any makeup. It's right. She's like, you know, I look good with or without makeup. So, this don't really bother me. But the rest of the girls like, you know, I'm always trying to look cute. I'm trying to find me husband number two. Some of them are trying to find husband number one. So, maybe that's the reason. So, Cynthia sets up this meeting for Kim and Kenya so they can discuss this commercial for our line. Kim, she shows up. They waiting on Kenya. Kenya doesn't call, she doesn't text or anything. Cynthia has to call her. And where she is, she's at her house, more manner, flirting and working with her new boo, the little trainer dude. I think his name is Mike. Can't remember his name, but she she's so distracted over there at more manner. She doesn't really have time or doesn't even, you know, the courtesy to be like, hey, I'm sorry, Cynthia. Something went on at the house. I have to be here and I have to work. She doesn't even call or text, so it's just like, okay, this is what we're doing. You, like, you over there, more man are flirting with this dude, you know, letting him know, yes, this is the house that I want. It has sentimental values, and hopefully one day me and my husband and my children will be there, like, throwing stuff out there, like, yes, I do want to get married and have children. So if you're scared about that right now, I'm going to need to leave so I can bring in the next audition of men so they can audition to be my husband. Not so much as audition, like, if they qualify to be you know, Kenya Moore's husband, so, that, Cynthia, not, yeah, Cynthia and Kim are sitting there, and Kim was like, okay, since she's not here, I have, you know, some sketches of what I think for the commercial is, two people walking on the beach, and when they put on Cynthia Bailey glasses, it's like, they on the red carpet, and it's like, what, and when they take the glasses down, they're on the beach, it's like, with the Cynthia Bailey glasses, you can always feel like you're on a red carpet, some, something like that, and like, Cynthia's like, okay, this is cute. I would like this, her. And she's like, how do you feel working with Ken, Kenya? Kim said it politely. She's like, you know, the focus is you being a client. I don't never want to be the person to, you know, say I don't want to work with per work with somebody. But, you know, when I I'm usually, you know, the director and producer on things. And I'm about, I'm all about a calm atmosphere while I'm working. And I don't really see that with Kenya. She didn't say she didn't want to work with her, but she was letting it know, like, I can already see this turning all the way to the left if I work with Kenya and I would prefer not to. But seeing as Kenya didn't even have you know, the decency to show up for said meeting, it's like maybe she's just forfeited. Like maybe more manners and you know her trying to flirt with old dude is more important than you know getting her a job out there. So I don't know. So that was the gist that went on. If I left anything out, by all means leave a comment or video response. And like always, I don't think my subscribe. And the people who watch my videos, I want you to like this video, comment, and subscribe. And share this video with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and here on YouTube. This is Lady T. Is that enough? Have a good one.